What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Your Parents in Training. So our baby has been having a growth spur. He's been feeding every two hours. We're not quite sure how to engage him in terms of the amount that we'll be feeding him. Uh, some people say like, as long as you feed him 10 minutes on each breast, then it should be sufficient enough. Every now and then we find that we need to top him off with more the amount that we, we thought that we had to feed him. And besides, uh, it's easier to see the amount that's been pumped from the machine. So that way we, we know exactly how much we feed him. But my wife wanted to do just uh, breastfeeding, uh, as much as breastfeeding as she can. So then we don't know how much it is that the baby is taking from each breast. So the, one way to find out how much he's actually taking is to weigh him. Now, when we go to the lactation consultant or to the pediatrician, they have uh, this skill as Modella uh, baby skill. I, I can't find anywhere that's selling them, uh, not on Amazon or eBay. So I get the best thing, uh, which is this, the health-o-meter for kids. It just came in today. It's for baby toddler skill. Yeah, let's unbox it and then see uh, what's in it. Oh, uh, this thing actually came with a bigger box that encloses. Uh, but it's, you can see here, it's already kind of torn on the side. But let's see. Okay, the inside looks so far so good. It's been uh, covered. Pretty well. So here is the skill. Oh, I think this is the uh, instruction. Instruction and then some parts that came with it. And let's see. And it looks like it's empty. It's pretty simple. And I like the design. This is very minimal. So let's open up the, the this bag first. It's the user guy. Oh, has 10 years limited warranty. Uh, health growth baby book. So this might be coming handy. Oh, this is pretty cool. It has, you can put your baby's detail on here. Uh, your baby's uh, foot size. Oh, this is great. So it has the boy growth and the girl growth chart. So you can kind of uh, engage to see how much your baby has grown and uh, what percentage what tile percentage is, uh, is he in. So this will be really come in handy. Oh, look at this. It's dates, age, and weight, weight percent, and, uh, and also two. We can keep track of everything here. Okay, let's see what else is in here. There are some parts. So I'm assuming this part has something to do with this because it kind of go hand in hand with the, with the corners here. So, okay. This seems to be pretty tidy held down. And it came with a little uh, topper. Uh, but let me just open it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it comes right off. So here is a little thingy that holds the whole thing down. So it, once you make a uh, turn, so it, it will disengage the bottom portion. Now, this is the actual skill, which looks pretty cool, a little like a cartoon character. I guess this thing is for the baby. So you have to put the baby on top to weigh uh, the baby. But once the baby has outgrown this basket, then this is where this thing is com coming handy. Okay, I guess it only goes in one way. It's this, look at the groove. Okay, and then there's a little thing here. 
that's where the last part goes in. And also, you just make a turn, so then it will just stay in. I think the easiest way is using a flat head uh, screwdriver or a corn. So then there. So once your baby has outgrown the basket, then this is how you set up the scale. That's where the feet goes. All right. Uh, let's see. Um. Nope. I guess. Ah, uh, so the battery. Yep. <laughs> uh, obviously, they don't come with the battery. It says here you need to have a night, uh, night volt battery and uh, let me go out and get one and we can get the weight scale set up properly so i'm doing a experiment to see how accurate the scale is so here i have two bottles uh, both are the same one with the cap on one is empty one with fluid one thing i really wanted to stress out is to see how much this three i put three ounces of water in here I want to see if this machine can measure three ounces as well. So first I put the empty bottle. So that measured one ounce. And I zero out. So that will take away the bottle's weight. And now I am starting off at minus one ounce. Next I put this on here. It measured two ounce and a half. So yeah, it is off. Um, if you can see here, I put it right at three. So that should come out to be three ounces, but it is not. And one other way for me to test out the accuracy is to see if the same measurement come out to be the same on my uh, kitchen scale. So as same as before, I have two bottles, one empty, one with three ounces of fluid. So that also measure at one ounce, which is as same as the, the baby scale. And let me zero it out. Okay, let's measure the one with the three ounce fluid. This one came pretty close. It measured 2.8. And, um, and this one, I have it for three ounces on the line. So, the kitchen one is much more accurate than the baby skill. Okay, as you can tell from the little clip that I did, uh, I did an experiment. The reason why I did the experiment is that uh, I realized there's a discrepancy between the number we get from this baby skill and when we go visit the lactation consultants uh, when they use the, the Mandela baby skill. I tested it out using, <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is scientific or not, but the idea is that you know I want to test out the actual amount of liquid uh, to weight them and to see the difference. And so yeah, I use an empty bottle and the bottle with three ounce water, three ounce according to this bottle. So it turns out that this baby scale is only registering two and a half ounce when I weight them. Uh, so what I did is just I take out the weight off the bottle and the cap, and so what left over it just the liquid by itself so this baby scale is a little bit off and then i want to test out to see whether or not this bottle is off so i use uh, my kitchen scale so the kitchen scale came out to be pretty close to three ounces. so i'm thinking this scale is off period i don't know <laughs> on amazon it says this amazon choice but this is not really accurate one of the funny thing about this scale is that even though it's inaccurate, but it's always consistent. So even though it measured two and a half ounce of this bottle, which is supposed to be three ounce, it measured two and a half every time. So if you are looking for accuracy, then this scale is definitely not for you because it's only like 40 some odd dollars. Uh, if you need higher accuracy, I think you need to go for Modella uh, baby scale. But I am not sure where you can find one of those in terms of buying one. But for this one, even though it's inaccurate, but the way that it measure is consistent every single time. So we in turn thinking that we use it for now to just kind of give us a baseline, 
how much the baby is actually intaking every time he's being breastfeeding. Because every uh, every time it seems to be a little bit different. Sometimes he latch on to the breast longer, but then he doesn't actually get fed more. So this will give us an idea of whether or not the baby actually getting fed. And it's super easy to use. Uh, it's only four buttons here. Uh, even though the baby moves a lot, so as long as you hit the whole button, it will give you an average. Uh, so it, it does work in the sense that it will give you a number that you can go by. So there, yay or nay? Well, uh, why don't you put a comment down below? And also, if you have a scale that you really like and share with us, put it into the comment down below as well. We would like to hear from you because we want to get a scale that's good for our measurement. <laughs> So anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy saving.